Hey gorgeous, what's up? It's your girl Keisha. Today I'm coming to you straight from my bathroom, giving you all of this black and white gorgeousness. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm very excited today. For the past week, I've been using a fresh aloe vera mask on my face. Every single day after I took off my makeup, I put a mask on my face using my aloe plant. And today, finally, we're going to see the results. If you guys wanna see what aloe did to my face for seven days, then just keep on watching. But before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to click that button. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. As we all know, aloe is an amazing ingredient for hydrating the skin. It's a superb hydrator. And one of my biggest skincare uh, concerns right now is hydration. Through my extensive research on the internet and some human testing, I've come to the realization that hydration is the key to solving some of the most common skincare woes. So the majority of your problematic skin is pretty much just attributed to lack of hydration in your skin. And so I wanted to put it to the test and see what aloe would do for my skin. Let's start off with a rundown of my routine this week. The first thing, of course, is cleansing your face, and I recently got my hands on the Purity Made Simple Facial Cleanser, which is supposed to be a three-in-one cleanser, makeup remover, toner, as well as a um, cleanser. <laughs> so I've been using this. It's very simple, very gentle on your face, and I really, really do enjoy this. I can definitely say that my skin doesn't feel stripped and dry afterwards, and when you're using something like natural, like aloe, you definitely don't want to be fighting the balance of your skin with harsh chemicals. Next, I would go ahead and scrub my face. This is the Aveeno Positively Brightened Skin Brightening Daily Scrub that I've been using three times this week on my skin. I'm pretty sure you guys are sick and tired of me talking about this, but it's one of my favorite just gentle scrubs. Then if I felt like my skin needed a little extra, I would go ahead and apply my Claudel. I only ended up using this once this week because I felt like the aloe vera just did enough for me. Then I would lock in all of the moisture with the DIY Vitamin E Serum, and then I would use my Pixi H2O skin drink. This is just a gel to hydrate your skin. Let's get into the rundown of this week. So I recently just finished my period and if you guys know anything about me, my skin is the best after that is done. So right now my skin is pretty much the best it has looked in quite some time. You'll see that like these used to be mountains on my face. You can even look back at the video even from last week and my skin looked really crazy. Right now, like it's not too bad. There's not really blemishes. There's just things under the skin that are still there, um, which I'm okay with as long as there's nothing like Mount Everest. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face as always, starting off with my oil cleanser, as well as my Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub, this one right here. We're gonna go ahead and clean up our face and then get into the actual goodness. This is day one. This is what we're working with. I've gotten most of my acne to smooth down on my face, and I'm really hoping that this will just flush out my skin and do great things. I wanna make sure that my aloe keeps as fresh as possible, so I just have my aloe leaf that I cut off, and I'm just gonna cut them into pieces, cut that in half, and put that on my face. I'm gonna wrap it with saran wrap and keep it in the fridge every night just so that I keep this as fresh as possible. So I already went ahead and rinsed it off. I'm just gonna take a piece right here. It doesn't need to be too big this one in some saran wrap so I can put that in the fridge pretty much all you're gonna need I'm gonna cut the, cut this in half not really even but whatever <laughs> I wish I could be more elegant with this but we guys know that I'm not that elegant maybe cut off the spikes I think maybe that will help a little bit it's so gooey <laughs> okay <laughs> Ooh, that actually feels really nice one thing I don't like about aloe is the smell <laughs> oh oh don't get it in my eyes I got my eye okay we're gonna leave this on for 20 minutes and then wash it off um whether or not my face looks any clearer I mean it's only the second day it looks smooth I'll tell you that but I feel like anything that you put on your face that's hydrating would feel smooth on your face one thing I will say is once it dries on your face it dries to a kind of egg white consistency where it's kind of tight on your face do y'all see a difference I mean my skin looks bright but I mean right here actually let me sip out of the light a little bit hmm yeah, these dark marks, not the ones over here, but these ones that have been here for a really long time, they do not look as prominent as they used to. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
today is the third day of using this aloe on my face. I already have my pieces sliced. Now, just to be even more accurate in this video, it's so sticky. Just to be even more accurate in this video, I did introduce a new cleanser into my routine. This is the Purity Made Simple. Um, I'm doing a review for this as well, so stay tuned for that. So I did not scrub my face today. I'm just using, I just only used that on my skin. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply our aloe mask and let it sit for 20 minutes. Now I do want to make sure I use this to the very last drop and get the most aloe on my face. So I'm just taking my nail, I'm taking my nail and just squeezing it into the actual gel. See how much more juice is left in the pack? And I'm just going to put that on my face. And I'm going to bring it right under the eyes as well. And I will assure you, it is as slimy as it appears. What I'm really hoping disappears is this right here on my face. You see how it's like very active and very red and inflamed? I really want that inflammation to go away. You see the ones poking out from my skin? Hopefully, they go away. And this one right here. It looks like it's coming ripe enough to like squeeze out. But this one is what I really want to get rid of. Washing it off makes it all slimy again and if you get it in your mouth your life is basically over because it's so so bitter one thing I can say while the dark spots on my face are still there by no means have they moved by using this aloe my skin looks so much smoother and healthier and you can even see yes i have some whiteheads that i'm going to extract today um i still have this i think it's a boil actually i'm not quite sure what it is but i still have that on my face i still have blemishes on my face of course they need to be extracted but in terms of my overall skin it looks healthy it looks moisturized it looks smooth like the overall complexion of my face looks super, super smooth. And as you can see, the oil content on my face is not as heavy as it usually does. And I know you've seen videos before where my skin looks super, super oily, especially in the T-zone, and I'm not getting that today. I did not powder my skin. I don't have one drop of powder on my face. I did not blot my skin at all today. I usually have enough oil on my forehead to fill up at least three pieces of blotting paper and I don't see that today. Obviously some of the makeup here has been removed because of the oil my skin actually produces, but um, I didn't really put a lot of makeup there anyways, so that's not really a big concern for me. I have it on my face today. I do feel like this mask maybe has helped a lot of the gunk appear, ew. A lot of the gunk come to the surface of my face as you can see down here. This, I believe it's cystic acne that's on my face. So this is gonna take a little bit of time to get rid of. I 100% don't believe it was caused by the aloe and it's not aggravated by the aloe. It has gone down um, by just putting aloe on it, but it's supposed to pretty much just go away on its own. That's what I'm hoping for, cross your fingers. But other than that, everything else looks good. It takes just about a million years to get this thing off your face though. I've rinsed my face, I swear to God, 50 times to get this thing off. It's been a very long day, but my face doesn't look oily at all which I'm really surprised because I actually really don't have very much on. I didn't even put as much powder as I put on a daily basis and it looks pretty much okay, so <laughs> that's cool. And also I can say when I took off the aloe yesterday, the boil on my face or whatever you wanna call it, it popped, so <laughs> it's barely there. Um, I managed to get rid of a lot of the marks on my face this when you can see it coming to a point but i'm just going to try to take it off with a mask instead of using um my fingers to pop it So I can honestly say 
say that my skin definitely looks a lot brighter. Right now I have zero active acne on my face and that is something that for me is super super hard to get. You guys knew that I started off this week with, I don't know if it was cystic acne or a boil or whatever it was on my face, but it was there. And this aloe did not come to play. She came in, she made her space, she attacked that cystic acne. She got rid of that cystic acne and I was like whoa I was blown away in legit like four days that thing was gone my skin has never been as clear as it is right now as you can see obviously um there are definitely dark spots still on my face. Now, it did get a little bit messy during the week just because that's how aloe is. You have to cut it, you have to, you know, scrape it out. It's 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 not the most elegant mask that is out there, but the results are undeniable. And you can pretty much, I equivalent, I equate this pretty much to a sheet mask um, in the sense of the way that you're getting the hydration. So it, in in other words, I did a natural sheet mask every single day. Um, and that's, that's something that you can really do for your skin. I definitely recommend using aloe, even just putting it into your routine. I probably won't be using it every single night just because of how tedious it is sometimes. But it is something that I will be adding into my regimen, especially when I feel like my skin needs a sheet mask that is a natural sheet mask that you can use. I definitely recommend getting yourself an aloe plant and trying it on your skin because you'd be very blown away by the results just as I am. Now that my face is clear of any active acne, the next step of course is getting rid of the marks and that has been my biggest task for so long. So if you guys have any ideas or any suggestions of what you think would help, definitely leave it down below because I would love to know. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Comment down below and tell me if you've ever tried an aloe vera mask on your face. I would love to see how that works for you. And make sure to click that big red button to subscribe and be part of the Adams family so you never miss out on another video. And girl, what you staring at? Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. I love you guys so much. Stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye!